Hello and welcome back to my Vampire Survivors series where I try to unlock all of the things. So today I honestly would have preferred to play Zia Sunta, but I accidentally bought Christine. So you know what? That's what we're going to go with. We're going to go with Christine. And uh, I upgraded luck and I upgraded recovery. That's pretty much it. Upgrades are getting pretty expensive, so uh, it's kind of hard to upgrade nowadays. But uh, before we start, let me just go ahead and check to see... Oh, so luck does affect the pentagram. How about that? And I assume cooldown also affects the gorgeous moon, so that should be fun. We'll go for some kind of cooldown run. Ah, and her cooldown is actually really reduced wow okay that's that's crazy okay let's go with christine and let's try one of these one of these stages how about this we'll go with uh um <laughs> sure let's go with moon glow it's a little bit of a shorter level today but that's okay because uh Honestly, like I said, I kind of want to, uh, kind of want to play a different character, so I'll just make today a short run with Christine. And, ooh, what? Defeating enemies with retaliatory damage gives plus 0.5 max health. And you get bonus damage depending on missing health. That is such a weird item, but also... Really cool? Dang, okay. We're not going to take it right away, because we don't have any armor. And I'm not necessarily planning on using any of these weapons, but it's a really interesting arcana. Uh, of course we're going to get the revival one, because that one is the best. And, hmm, you know what? Yeah, let's go with the guns. Well, yeah, uh, guns? Are the guns best with cooldown? Probably not, but maybe Song of Mana? But then we'll have to take the Cursed Skull, which does exist in this stage. Let's go with the guns. Oh god, so we have to get... Oh, we have to buy this crap. Permanently improves a random stat for the current character by a tiny amount. Okay, so we need money to actually purchase this thing. Oh, and the merchant's gone. Well, what the heck. Okay, you know what? We're backing out of that. <laughs> We're gonna play Christine and not on Moon Glow because um oh shoot, enemy health goes up by a lot. Eh, whatever. Uh because uh we don't have money. So if we can't buy that thing, then we might as well just do this instead. And listen, if we're going a cooldown run. I don't mind a magic wand, but I also don't mind an ebony wings. The birds are pretty good with cooldown, right? Okay, we got the magic banger. Sick. <laughs> now, let's try and kill some enemies and get experience. Oh god, this run is gonna be not good. <laughs> I can already tell. It, it's bad. It's, it's bad. There's also no enemies. Is this just a for fun level? Is this a, is this a for fun level? Where there's just no enemies that spawn and you just like chill? Am I getting griefed, man? I swear I'm getting trolled. I don't know what any of these bonus stages are about. This is going to be the worst video I've ever made in my life, man. 
Uh, okay. We'll go with the, the guns. Oh, and just as enemies were about to spawn, I blew them all up. Okay. So we definitely want to upgrade the pentagram right away. Oh, God. So we're going cooldown. A cooldown run. Okay. Let's go ahead and banish the knife. The axe. Maybe I'll take the bracer and go with the knife. Because I'm curious how the bracer interacts with the lasers. I'm very curious. Because if the bracer affects how fast the lasers go, then that could actually be pretty solid. Also, I'm taking a lot of damage here. This is, this is not good. I need to not do that. Enemies do have a lot more health because of um, hyper mode. I don't want to take pentagram because I don't want to blow up the XP. Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
right? If you have Ebony Wings and Pichone, then the Duplicator would give both of them extra projectiles. But the Vandalier combines the birds, so I don't know what the interaction is like there. Right? Like, I'm not sure if the Vandalier gets double effectiveness or if it actually just gets nerfed by combining it. My guess is that it would get doubly affected. Because there's also like two zones, right? It has two zones that it shoots the projectiles, so... I don't know. Nice. Okay, these guys are really tanky, dude. Um, these guys are really tanky. What weapon do I have upgraded right now? Is it literally just the pentagram? Do I not have any damage at all? Uh-oh. And pentagram blew everything up. <laughs> uh, yay, yay. It's okay. We just have to evolve the pentagram, even though we don't have the crown, and we can't kill any enemies. We fine. Just stand here hitting enemies. All right, one of these days, you will kill something. Nice. That's huge, actually. The fact it didn't erase the gems. Okay, we're still lacking any form of damage whatsoever, but it's fine. This is going to be an L run, dude. Like, we also only have 45 gold. Okay, sorry, 54 gold now. At 7 minutes, we're not going to get any money. This is so bad. We're killing nothing. I should not have upgraded the pentagram first. This thing is useless. Okay, now that there's these green guys, we can actually start killing enemies. Although, somehow we need to actually get the experience. Nice. Okay. Go with the wings. Look, once we get our weapon evolutions, our build will actually be solid. Until then, we are... we're struggling. Alright, that's putting it lightly. We've gotten pretty lucky with the pentagram activations to continue getting experience, but... If one of them goes off and we don't get anything... Like, we're screwed. Or if it blows up a guy with a chest... Yeah. Let's not have that happen. Also, let's try leveling up, huh? Pentagram can't even be evolved yet. It's still level 7. If we could evolve Pentagram... Oh my god, we're so lucky, dude. Oh my god, we're... So, oh my... God, we're so lucky! It's actually unreal. Now we just need a chest. Where's the enemies with the chests at, bro? Okay, also, we need to get out of here... If we can evolve Pentagram, I think we'll be okay. Because that'll actually, like, carry us. Because I'm pretty sure the Pentagram evolution gives you more experience gems. Like, I think the experience gems give you extra that it produces. Could be wrong about that, though. But that's what it seems like, because they're a different color. Nice, man, that's... What is that, like three in a row? Maybe more than that. Oh, is this it? Nope. 
Ah, because we don't have the crown. <laughs> of course. My bad. We need the crown. That's that's fine. At least, you know, we've got something. For leveling up. I mean, we also have, like, four revives or something, so... It's not the biggest deal in the world. Although, obviously, I'd like to keep as many revives as possible to get, like, maximum lasers going. Ow. Okay, we got the birds. We almost died. Dude, we almost died to the freaking bats, man. Not even the big bats, just the small ones. Oh, okay, we did die to the big bats. Get the chicken. I think Christine actually has one of the lowest base healths in the game. Yeah, she's 55 max health. That's so absurd. That's why the floor chicken's literally giving her like half of her health. It's crazy, man. Like, legitimately, I think the only reason why Christine is a potentially viable character has to be because she gets 30% cooldown reduction. Her base passive is like pretty bad. And, yeah, everything else is, is not ideal at all. But the 30% cooldown reduction, that's just like, jeez, it's crazy. Okay, we're getting a decent amount of XP here. So this stage, I'm pretty sure this is what they used to have as the like original first stage when the game first came out, where there was basically like no terrain, no obstacles, just pure enemies and like torches that had floor chicken or whatever. Ooh, and there's an Arcana over there. Let's see if we can uh, get something good here. I don't know. I mean, low key. I guess we could just take this. I mean, she doesn't have a ton of max health, but whatever, dude. We're just going to take it. If we get any benefit out of it at all, then that's fun. That would actually be fun to have in like a... Like to kill the small bats at. Because you could farm max HP off of them, but... I guess one of the concerns is that, like, you have to think about, um, I don't remember what I was going to say. You have to think about whether or not you kill the enemies with your normal weapons before then, right? So, it's one of those things. But yeah, a full, like, retaliatory damage build, I feel like that could be really interesting. It's just kind of hard, like, oh, and finally erased everything. Like, if you have a garlic build, then you're never killing enemies early game with the uh, retaliatory damage, right? Because they're literally just going to die immediately. So, you know, it can be rough, but it could be a fun build idea. In my opinion. Alright, there's a bat in there that drops a chest, so I'm gonna kill him. Nice. I didn't kill him, but I'll take it. Ooh, Tarona's box. Okay. I mean, it doesn't give cooldowns, so I guess we can't take it. We also don't have any slots left, assuming we want to still go the Tome. Which, honestly, don't even know if the Tome is the way to go at this rate, but... You know. We're just figuring things out. That's all that I can really hope for.
I'd love to get a crown at some point. Any crowners? Uh oh. It's the werewolves and the ghosts. Okay. Oh my god, I was getting retaliated. Oh! Okay, huge. We're dead. <laughs> okay, I was gonna try to farm max health by killing people with retaliatory damage, but uh, didn't really work. We just died instead. I don't know what I want the last weapon that we get to be. It could be Lightning Ring. Because I think the Lightning Ring is affected by our Akana as well. But... Low-key... I don't know, I feel like Fire Wand might just be better. Also, I think we're just going to die here. TBH. I don't think we have any revives left. Oh, we do. We have one revive. But how are we supposed to live through all these mobs? I need XP. I need... I need better weapons, dude. I need a weapon evolution. Oh my god. Oh, we made it to a new wave? Why does this wave look like it's even worse? We need healing, dude. Oh my god, there's so many mobs. Bam. This is not playable. I don't even know what's happening on the screen. It's like a bullet hell. I mean, the game is a bullet hell, but it's even more like a bullet hell. There's like 30 mobs. Okay, well... I'm feeling pretty bad about our run-ons, <laughs> considering we're probably about to die here soon. I mean, I don't know, maybe not. Maybe we'll be okay. I need health, though. I need a floor chicken. Oh my god, crown. Thank the lord, dude. Now we just need another chest. I mean, it's kind of too late now, because, like, even if we get the crown up... Oh my god, Tiragasu. Wait a minute. Is the run savable? Oh my god, is the run savable? I don't believe it, dude. I can't. Okay, well, <laughs> blow up all the jebs. It's okay. It's okay. It didn't blow up the chest. Because there aren't any chests. Mm -hmm. I got two gems from that. Okay. We need to kill enemies. So we still have... Now we have one revive left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have one more revive because of the Tiragasu we picked up. So we're not going to have as many projectiles in our laser beams if we can get it, but that's okay because we're alive. And that's all that matters. Upgrade the crown? No, I think I need more weapon upgrades. As much as I would love to upgrade the crown, I don't know if we can afford it right now. Any bit of DPS we can get, we need it. Okay. There we go, okay. There's still no chests. I'm noticing a severe lack of chests in this run. Maybe because we've blown them all up. Dude, it's 17 minutes in, we don't have a single weapon evolution. It's kind of crazy. 
I've never had a run like this before. Well, I have, but in recent memory I haven't had a run that has been not so hot. There was the one croaky run that I thought we were going to lose, but we didn't. Oh, okay. I kind of wanted that attract orb. We lived. Irigisu? Okay, we're alive. We're getting like one health per second. Where's the floor chicken? It's to our right. I need to dodge and weave, dodge and weave. There it is! Save it! Oh my god, the floor chicken is so far away. Okay, we got it. Alright, upgrade the crown, I guess. We need a chest, dude. That's all that we need. We need a chest. Give us a chest so we can upgrade some of our freaking weapons. Oh? Oh? Okay. Is it possible? Can we actually survive this run? I don't know. But we're on track to do something. We only got one level up? Okay, we lost. There's another floor chicken to our right, so let's try making our way over there. I mean, until we can get the lasers, we're pretty much just relying on the pentagram, or the eclipse moon, to save us. Which is not really ideal, but like... Just don't have damage. I mean, also keep in mind that, like, our run is supposed to have... Two, like, three more weapons than we have right now. Because when we union the guns and the birds, we're going to have two more empty slots, and we already have an empty slot. So... Yeah, we didn't even level up off that, dude. Dude. Die to contact damage. Give me max health. I guess one of the things that is kind of sad is that, like, as you unlock more Arcanas, it becomes harder to actually get the ones that you want. So, like, making those super hyper-powerful builds becomes slightly more difficult, but... <clears throat> eh. Is what it is. I mean... Another thing to keep in mind about this run, though, is that we are in hyper mode, which gives the enemies way more health, I'm pretty sure, in this stage. So, that's probably contributing somewhat to our difficulties in killing any enemy. God, it's the dairy plant, dude. These golems are so tanky. They are a pain. Live! Live. Nice. Uh, I mean, what can our last weapons be? Fire wand, duplicator, rune tracer. Sure. Nice. Three weapons. Okay. There we go, dude. How many projectiles? Not many. And we're dead and stuff. <laughs> okay, let's let's run. We just unlocked the lasers and we're gonna die. Lasers aren't doing hot damage, unfortunately. I was kind of relying on them. Come on. Okay. Uh, ebony wings. 
Oops. Okay, wait a minute. I think the laser will actually kill all these guys. Another Arcana! Okay. So here... Okay, this would have been nice early in the game. So we're just going to take the healing. Because even though it's not really that useful for us, it's, it's, it's better than the other thing. I mean, we do have like a passive regeneration, kinda, so... You know. We're getting like 3 HP per second. In about a minute, we'll be full health. Unless I take damage. A fool. Okay, what we need is for the lasers to be permanently on. That's what we really need. Which I thought would happen passively, but I guess we need to just upgrade our cooldown more. Don't really know. Okay, here's a here's a chicken. Wabam. Full health. Oh god. It's golems. Or a golem, I guess. Oh, flame breath. Yes. Glorious experience. Oh my god, look at all that XP we're getting. The green gems? Plus the chess? Okay. Look at all this XP. Holy moly. Yer. I just take the fire one, whatever. So what are we still looking for? Oh, we don't have the Tiragisu anymore because we used it. So we can actually take another thing. That's interesting. Hmm. Maybe we'll take the bracer? We still haven't seen the tome. Which, I don't even know how to explain that. Alright. We're doing it. Maybe. I mean, we're, we're not dead. We don't have any more revives, though. Which is very scary. Because our build is kind of weak. Low-key. It's 23 minutes in and we're level 56. That's, that's not good. Uh, okay, let's take the Bracer. And the last thing we want is the Tome. Oh god. The enemies are already getting unkillable. Where's the floor chickens at? We need a floor chicken. Now. Okay, hopefully the laser can stall them long enough for the, uh, the pentagram to come in or something, cause... Yeah, here we go. Kill him. Farm these gems. Yeah, might as well take this. Actually, you know what? Maybe it would have made sense to level up first. Ah, yeah, whatever. It's too late, huh? That could have been interesting, actually. We could have taken Tirona's box instead of the Bracer. Yeah, I, I did end up getting punished for taking that chest because we ended up getting the level 8 Pichone, so we could have maybe gotten Vandalier. Alas, such is life.
Uh, Rune Tracer. Rune Tracer is solid. Just a really good weapon. Not necessarily on this map because there's not a lot of terrain for it to bump against to explode, but it's still not bad. Honestly, though, I am amazed at how rash our weapons are. Or not just our weapons, but like our build. Like how weak we are, but the fact that we're just living. I guess having like five revives is pretty good. It's just like, I feel like we've gotten a little bit unlucky. I mean, that's just me. I know I'm biased, but just, just a little bit of unluckiness. Oh! Don't get even close to the boss, because I'm not trying to die, dude. Jesus. That was terrifying. Are there floor chickens? Yeah, there, there are a couple floor chickens near us. Oh my god, but the enemies... They be hitting different. Okay. Vandalier. There we go. Uh, the Vandalier is so weak right now, though. Okay, we need to make our way toward a floor chicken. Now, there's one to our bottom right, but maybe it'd be better to go up to the top left? Uh... Lightning ring? Sure. There's more things to the top left. I'm worried that it's further away. Chicken's further away. Maybe harder to get to. Um. Oh wait, there's a floor chicken down here. Okay, these enemies are not gonna die, by the way. These enemies are from the cathedral, I'm pretty sure. And, uh... Yeah, our build is not nearly strong enough for the cathedral. The pentagram, though. Flips Moon, I think it's called. I forgot bosses don't get blown up by it. Um, okay. That was... That was not good. Oh my god, wait, we're so far away from everything, man. What? I was not going toward a floor chicken. <gasps> okay. 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 It's fine. We unlocked her arcana. That's all that matters, right? And we got a decent amount of money, surprisingly. I have no idea how that happened. But, uh... That was, that was a run. Not a, not a great run, but it was a run for sure. I don't think you can deny that. Um, I don't think I did Christine too much justice. I think my early choice of weapons was subpar. Okay, that's depressing. Um. Yeah, like getting the ebony wings first thing is just not what you want because it's not active for very long, right? So it's like so hard to kill early enemies. Not that there were a ton of early enemies, but still when it's like, and then, you know, it reached a point where the only quote unquote damage that we had was the pentagram, which is just terrible. Like if that's the only damage you got, your run is... Here we go again. Then your run is lost. I think. But that's also another reason why I just don't really like Christine. The 30% cooldown reduction. It's really cool. It's really good. Um, and I'm sure that you can make it work. It just, for me, 
I don't know, dude. Just starting with the pentagram as, and like that's your character feels weird to me. And also the fact that she has like no health. At this point though, I'm kind of just making excuses because, um, yeah. Also apparently she doesn't get any might. I don't know what's up with that. But whatever. It is what it is. Next run, we're going Zia Sunta. Seems like a really fun character. I have no idea what the weapon is. I mean, it's a whip, obviously, but don't know what the whip does. But it uh, should be fun. Should be chill. I'm going to try to play a new character every run until we kind of start running out. And then somehow, I don't know. Not going to lie, I don't really want to beat every map with every character. I don't even think that unlocks anything. Maybe it does. If it does, then this is going to be a very long series. But, uh, yeah. We'll see. We'll see. We still got a lot of unlocks, and we're constantly unlocking more unlocks. Right? Like, we unlocked Arcanas, then we got a bunch of new things. Every character we get is more things to unlock. Every weapon... You know, just constantly more and more and more, which is fun. I love that. But once we stop unlocking things, if it's just like beat the stage with this character for the sake of getting the check mark, probably not going to go for that personally. But anyways, I was kind of just stalling the timer, increase the video length because uh, I'm kind of depressed that we died there. Uh, I moved away from all the floor chickens. And I sat there while all of the enemies spawned on top of me. So, yeah, not my best play. But uh, that'll do it for me for today. Hope you all enjoyed. And I hope to see you next time. Peace.